Hello, Uggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes from a fellow by the name of Bill Manley. Now, he doesn't give a call sign, so I'm going to assume he's a fairly new ham. Uh, new hams aren't as used to the fact that hams are always forever trading their call signs. He says, I have a question on antennas having to do with their gain and height. Um, now, the antennas he's talking about, the Comment GP3 and the Comment GP9, okay, both antennas are set up with the very tip at the same height. Now, the, the Comment 3 is not as lengthy as the Comment 9. They're verticals. These antennas are vertical antennas used at VHF and UHF. Now, here's the thing. The taller one has got several antennas on top of each other, okay? Stacking vertically, all inside that tube. Now, what this does is it causes the overall pattern to come down more toward the horizon. So if you're out there on the horizon, which means if you're out there pretty much anywhere, in a car, hiking, whatever, that antenna has more gain, sometimes substantially more gain. Uh, the GP3 is a smaller version of that. They both work. Um, now it says, uh, if I had uh, two of those, the Comet 3 and the Comet GP9, would both antennas set with the very tip at the same height, would the gain of each come into play with their performance? Well, height matters. Um, you actually, when you have the tips at the same height, that's the equivalent of having the comment GP3 at a, uh, at a higher height. Okay, take, if you will, the kind of uh, gravitational center of the antenna. And if you put the, the two at the same height, the gravitational center of the GP3 is higher than the gravitational center of the GP9. How much difference is that going to make? So little, it'd be very hard to measure. Okay. Um, if I got the GP9 mounted, and uh, it might work better with the higher gain. I would try to mount them the GP9 in the same place you had the GP3 mounted and just get it up in the air as much as you can. Um, I wonder if the gain really would not help if the antenna was not reaching any higher. Now remember the second rule of antennas is that height matters. The first rule of antennas is everything affects everything. But the second rule is height matters. Especially on UHF and VHF you want to get that antenna up relatively high. Now your trade-off is this, the losses in the coax run versus the length of coax that you have to get to get up to the antenna, because coax gets fairly lossy at 2 meters and 70 centimeters. So you're going to have to use LMR 400 or some other kind of low loss coax to make sure that you're not just heating the coax while you are transmitting or losing your signal um, while you are receiving. So if the cable run is more than about 25 or 30 feet, I'd look for a different way to mount those antennas. Okay, so a few thoughts. There you go. I hope that helps. Your two antennas uh, will both work. Uh, the nine is uh, the higher gain of the two antennas, and it does that. It as a circular pattern, but there's a big null in the middle. Now, if you get the longer antenna, it gets the higher gain by squashing the pattern down toward the horizon more. Okay? So, I hope that helps. And if you're watching this video, please subscribe to this channel. Please click like. Uh, there are ways of helping this channel financially. You can look into those too at dcastler.com slash support and see if one of those works for you. And I'm not talking a thousand dollars a month. Nobody's ever given me that. But if you want to do like two dollars a month, you can go to patreon.com slash ke0og and pick a way that works for you. So there you have it. So Ben, I hope that helps you out. 
uh, I would stick with the GP9 if you can, get it up high, and uh, it should do a nice job for you. Comet makes good antennas. So until we next meet, 73.